Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Sam Beyond and Through with Monty. You know, right here, it says, Mexicans be 10 deep in a two-bedroom, everybody working, splitting bills, saving their money, helping each other. Black people be eight deep in a three-bedroom with one person working, fighting each other, hiding tissues and sheet. Okay, I want to tell you where I'm taking this because I have seen things of this nature before where they talked about how it's very difficult for black people to live in the same house under the same roof in tranquility. But before I go on, I want to show you something. Just take a look at this here. We basically got a plan for you, right? You're gonna get an apartment. You're gonna get a job to pay your rent and start to live on your own. We're gonna pay your rent for the first two months. We're gonna help you be independent and make that transition to a young adult. That's what's important. What do you think? Thank you for, you know, even considering that. I just think that for me, you know, living on my own, I think that that's not something I'm ready for. I'm not ready to be isolated. Yeah, but see, listen right here, right? This is the opportunity for you to repair the relationship. This is just time to prove you can be independent. We're going to help you. Y'all might need your space in, in the beginning just to work on your issues. Oh, no, nah, please. Don't, um... Why are you crying? You feel like you're getting abandoned? To y'all, it feels like you're helping me, but to me, it's showing up as, like... I feel like my biological mom is putting me right back out. I just, I'm just not ready for it. And I want to fix everything I've done. You got it from here, baby. I got to go. I'm not properly equipped to deal with this situation, so I felt like, you know, the best thing for me to do is to leave, and hopefully they can work it out and figure it out on it themselves. Is this Yanny's mess to clean up, do you feel like? Absolutely. Okay, so you seen the clip. That was Yandy and her husband Mendices and their adopted daughter Infinity. Where basically she's not ready to go and she doesn't want to go. However, it, it almost seems like they're going to kick her out. Here's the whole problem with this thing right here. They adopted her around 2019. And with a child this old who's in foster care, more than likely she's going to come with problems and issues. If you were not prepared to deal with those problems or issues, perhaps you should not have adopted her. The idea that she's in a relationship with the older man is even more of a reason to keep her in your house. She's crying. She doesn't want to leave. One of the worst things that you can do is to turn her over to this older man. Because emotionally and psychologically, it will be another form of abandonment. And obviously, she is not ready for that. She does not want that. You cannot let a child go or kick them out at the first sign of trouble. With teens growing up, there's going to be trouble. You're going to have to learn to deal with that. You just should not have never taken her in in the first place. Nothing's going to be some type of bed of roses where someone's going to be a perfect child. That is just not going to happen. You chose to adopt an adult who had some issues already. And you're going to create more issues by throwing her out. And you know what? Don't get up there and say that it's no one's business but ours. Because both of you chose to air this for the world to see. I always say, do not download your personal information if you do not want people to upload their opinions. 
So throwing this child out there, she's 19 years old. That's still a child to me. She's not ready to be on her own. You have to understand that people have their own personality, their own ideas and thoughts, and they are allowed to be their own person. And with that, you cannot just say, okay, I'm going to cut the cord because you're making ideas and decisions that we do not agree with. The only way I would agree with a child being cut loose is if they're a danger to another small child in the house, if they are a danger to you, and perhaps if they're a danger to a pet. But with her, this is not the case at all. It's basically a disagreement because she's with the older man who you guys do not approve of. So I would say, keep her in. If you're not getting her help, then get her help. Because she's going to need it. And maybe they are. Then continue on with the help. But the worst thing that they can do, in my opinion, is to throw her out. The way that she was crying, she obviously does not want to go. And she obviously is not prepared to deal with life, that type of life, on her own. So hopefully things will work out well between all of them. I believe there's four of them because Yandy has a young son. And this is just a little hiccup in which they are going through. But hiccups that you go through, they're going to happen again. And you must be prepared to deal with them in a mature manner. In a mature manner with problems that are not of a violent nature is to go through the storm together. And hopefully it will be peaceful weather at the end. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Same Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you Beyond and through.